2023 really did have it all. The good, the bad, the mistakes, to the risks that paid off, and honestly, everything in between. Rather than make a bunch of videos outlining all of this, I decided to just sit down and give a full report. So grab a drink, maybe a snack, and let's get started. Hey you guys, happy new year and welcome back to my channel. With the start of a new year, it's time for another Teachers Pay Teachers Income Reports. I really love doing these because it just shows me how far I've come since the very first month I decided to get started in this, which was August of 2022. I'll put a little clip here of my very excited self who was just getting into this journey. This year, like I mentioned, I am going to change it up and do a complete report all in one video. I do have my laptop here and we will be covering the 2023 income report, of course. Uh, the best sellers in my shop in 2023, my highest earning day, my biggest tip for the year, and then of course my 2024 shop goals moving forward. I did have to change those a little bit because if you've not seen my more recent videos, I have started a new job. I am now teaching at the college level. I am actually filming this. Uh, 90 minutes before I have to go to the lecture hall. So I figured let's just sit down, reconfigure some goals because I am no longer a full-time work from home teacher. I am now an online teacher, a college teacher, and a TPT resource creator. That is a long title. But if you guys have not already done so, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and click that little red subscription button and the bell to be notified each and every time a new video goes live. Now, because this is going to be a full report, I will try my best to include chapters in this video. So if you do wanna skip around and see certain things, you can just look below and you should see chapters, but be sure to stick around until the end of the video because I wanna share the biggest tip I was given last year, not something that I figured out on my own, but a piece of advice that really did change the game for me, especially as this platform gets more and more saturated. But without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll go ahead and get started with my 2023 income report. Because I have done some of these in the past outlining 2023, I'm going to do quarters. So quarter one, January through March, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. Every quarter is just three months and you will see that on my income report. All right, sharing my screen in three, two, one. Here is quarter one of 2023. Like I mentioned, January 1st through the end of March, March 31st, 2023. My total earnings for quarter one were $171.58. I had sold a total number of 76 items and had 1,433 views. Now, if I compare that to 2023, we can see that we have definitely improved in quarter one of 2023. If you remember, I said my first month taking TPT seriously was in August of 2022. So what you're seeing here, this $20.45, that was when I had three or four items in a basically abandoned TPT shop. So you can see just how much we have improved in a year's time. Of course, let's go look at units sold. We had sold 18 units the year before and 76 last year. And when it comes to views, we have definitely improved. We have almost a thousand more, over a thousand more, excuse me. Last year in 2022, we had 432. And in 2023 quarter one, we had 1,433. Now let's go ahead and take a look at quarter two. This is going to be April, May, and June. Now June normally in my experience and maybe others, let me know down below if you agree. Let me know if June is the start of a downward trend as teachers are getting out of school. By the way, I did not mention this before, but let me know how your 2023 income goals and shop did down below in the comment section. But taking a look here, you can see quarter two of 2023, we made $196.80. You can see we had a few spikes over 10 to $12, one at $17. If I go to units sold, quarter two, we sold 83 units and we had 1,870 views on the shop. Let's jump back over to earnings and take a look at how we did compared to quarter two of the year prior. 
you can see in 2022 quarter two, we made $32.55. So again, another solid quarter of improvement. Just because I wanna know, when, when I'm done looking at uh, units sold and views, I wanna compare Q1 and Q2 just to see, because I know in quarter three, that's when I started taking my shot more seriously in 2022. So we won't see as big a spike in numbers. But let's go ahead and take a look at units sold. So 29 the year before and 83 in last year's quarter two. And views on the shop, again, we more than tripled, almost quadrupled the views on the shop. Now, just because I'm curious, I'm gonna go and put Q1 and Q2 together. And then I'll do the whole year next time uh, to June. So this is six months time, Q1, Q2. We can see that in quarter one and quarter two of 2023, we made a total of $368 as compared to the year prior. Quarter one and two, we made $53. Let's go ahead and jump now to quarter three. That should be July, August, and September. So July, August, and September. In quarter three, you are going to see quite a jump here, even in 2023 standards, we made $819.57 in quarter three. That I attribute to having a few really good back to school products that went into the shop and some really good seasonal items towards the beginning of the fall season. If you look at July, you can see we didn't make hardly anything at all. I remember posting some videos on this channel in the summer months. I had just come back from TPT Forward. I had all this advice and TPT Forward was right around here, like mid July, like July 19th. And then we haven't even hit August and you can see some spikes in the shop. We went from having like zero to $2 days to having a $20 day. So I'm not saying it came directly from TPT Forward, but it did not hurt to go and get some tips, tricks, advice, and motivation, inspiration from the fellow sellers at TPT Forward. Let's go ahead and compare these numbers to the year before. Here they are. So Q3 2022, we made $281. And then of course you can see the improvement that we had last year. Let's go ahead and take a look at units sold. Oh, I didn't do this in comparison, but that's okay. You guys know the drill by now. Last year, we sold 243 compared to the year before at 125. That is almost double. So we almost doubled the units sold. And then views, we also almost doubled the views on the channel. I'm not really sure what happened right here. August 1st, there was an influx of views, 291. I don't know if there was a sale or if I was going through and fixing things on covers and descriptions. That is one thing I will say is kind of confusing because if you go into your shop to improve it and work on it, anytime you're clicking around on your products, that counts as a view. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final quarter that will be oh, final quarter of the year is October, November and December. I don't think we're going to do better than the $819 in quarter three, but let's go take a look. And I was correct. We made in quarter three of 2023, $589.29. We sold a total number of 184 units and we had 5,313 views on the channel. Now, I'm not exactly sure why my December was so low. You'll see in a second, my December income is actually less in 2023 than it was in 2022. I'm not sure if that's the algorithm. I'm not sure if that's inflation. I'm not sure if that's just, maybe people were not as interested in products. Maybe there was just something that was different, but we're taking this as a learning curve. We'll see what happens, but let's go ahead and compare. You can see here, we still had an improvement, not nearly as much as we had in Q1 and Q2, but last year in 2022, Q4, we made $412.77 as compared to quarter four of 2023, where again, we made $589. Let's go ahead and take a look at units sold. 
can see, still very, very close in numbers. We sold 162 the year prior and as compared to 184 in 2023. And views, we, which is insane to me, we more than doubled in views. If you look at this, it's almost like people came to the shop and then did it buy things. And again, that could be me, it could be the algorithm, it could be inflation. Again, I am not really sure. I'm curious, I know I didn't share conversion rates in this report, but let's go ahead and take a look at the conversion of quarter four between 2023 and 2022. I have a feeling it's going to be higher. Oh, yes, more than double. Okay, what this tells me is my conversion rate obviously was cut in half. That could again be people just not wanting to buy as much, it being the end of the year. It also could be the academic calendar. Depending on when Christmas and New Year's falls on the calendar also depicts when their end of the year, their last day of the school year is going to be. So again, I feel like this is just going to take some time. Again, that's why I love doing these income reports because I'll be able to go back at the end of 2024 and see, did we improve in Q4 uh, in the future years, in the years down the line? But you know what? All in all, it was not a bad year at all. Again, like I mentioned, there were good times, there were bad times, there were lessons learned. Let me go ahead and take a look at the entire year. So January, right there, all the way to December of 2023, you can see that we earned a total of $1,777.24. Now, even with quarter four not being as strong as the year before, if we compare the entire year, we still had an increase of 140% as compared to the 2022 year. So 2022, we made a total of $747. We were so close to hitting 750. And then this past year, of course, that big improvement I just mentioned, $1,777.24. If we look at units sold over the entire year, we sold 586 units in 2023 as opposed to 334 the year before. And when it comes to views, of course, views seem to just keep going up and up, even if the income doesn't seem to follow. 12,771 views as opposed to... Um, views as compared to 5,505. Whew. So that is my 2023 income report as compared to 2022. Like I mentioned, I do want to share my highest earning day, which did come in on October 16th of 2023. I made $45.36. I was so close to messaging the angry teacher who is a fellow YouTuber and TPT seller and messaging him and saying, I made a $50 day. But of course we were four dollars and 67 cents short so didn't quite make it there have not yet had a 50 dollars day but that is one of my goals in 2024 i'm gonna leave up my comparison and let you guys know my biggest tip that i learned and implemented in 2023 and that was making larger bundles and higher ticket price items. Because we are living in a recession and we have inflation just everywhere in the world right now, I was really, really focused on making smaller ticket price items and I almost steered away from making bigger ticket price items and bundling, which if I ever did a deep dive into the products that I made, if you wanna see that video, let me know down below, I can say, Without a shadow of a doubt, I made more seasonal, lower ticket price items than any other product in my shop. That may be why December was so low. I didn't make as many new products because in my brain, I already thought, oh, I did so well in 2022. Why would I need to go back and make more December seasonal products? They already did so well then, I don't need to make new ones now. But if you look at these numbers, um, that doesn't really compare to my 
theory, my hypothesis. So my biggest tip, if you are just getting over a year, a year and a half into your shop, do not be afraid to experiment and make a higher ticket price item. And also do not be afraid to make bundles. Just because you would not necessarily purchase your bundle does not mean that those items bundled together would not help or aid a teacher or a substitute or somebody else in the education field. So higher ticket price items and bundles are my biggest tip to you guys. I will still continue to make TPT videos moving into 2024. Even with this new job, I will try to do at least one every month. If there is something specific that you want to see, let me know down below in the comment section. I know I've got a list of some things that I want to be working on in 2024 when it comes to videos and topics and discussions I want to have. I do wanna talk about my experimentation with freebies, marketing, growing an email list, but let me know what things you guys would like to see. And last but not least, let's talk shop goals for 2024. I am not going to set a certain income number. If I did and I wanted to grow at the same rate, 140% percent as compared to last year, I would try to make $4,500 in the year 2024. Would I be mad if I hit that number? Absolutely not. But as for right now, I am trying to improve by 10% each and every month. For example, if January 2023, I made $100, my goal for January 2024 is to make $110. I'm setting this goal a little bit lower because I am obviously transitioning into a new job and I don't wanna feel discouraged if I don't hit those numbers. I am also trying to be more active on my note to followers now that I have an email list with over 200 people on it. Again, I will talk to you guys about that. I. <laughs> I tried a few things out with growing an email list and having freebies that I had not seen online before and it really did pay off. Another video for another day, but I wanna try the 10% rule, being more active with my communication, trying to throw my own sales, and then trying more evergreen product creation. Like I mentioned, I was doing too much seasonal, trying to focus on evergreen. Those are my three things. So 10% rule, correspondence, evergreen products. And last but not least, if you've stuck around to the end of this video, my biggest tip that I was given this past year, like not something I figured out myself, but the tip I was given was to find the gaps. There are so many products on TPT over 8 million, I am told, but there are still gaps. If I was an art teacher, could I not make activities that teachers could still find and be helpful, but could I put a spin on them? So yes, they are still relatable, still able to be found in search, but they have their own spin on them. They have something that makes them unique, something that makes them stand out. I will be doing videos about this moving forward into 2024, but the biggest piece of advice I got, especially as this platform is getting more saturated, is find the gaps. Find a product that you can create that is unique, that doesn't have 10,000 competing resources on the TPT site. TPT sellers, I'm not sure if you saw this in your email. I got mine on Thursday, January 11th, and decided since I was editing this video anyway, just to put it in at the end. So if you've stuck around till the end of the video, here is my TPT 2023 yearbook, kind of like year in review. I love that they do these little animations. I think these look really nice. We are so excited to celebrate everything you've accomplished and all the ways you supported teachers and students. And if you scroll down, it gives you these really cool like stats over the last year. Let's start with some firsts from 2023. And you can see it does this really cool like count up. 563 teachers bought a resource from your store for the very first time. I think that is so amazing. And you can keep scrolling down, you'll get more stats. So I actually didn't look and see how many new resources I made in the past year, but this little recap shows me 75 new resources. I remember in August of 2022, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have 10 new resources a month and 120 for the year. And then I forgot that um, 
life happens and you can't always do that, but 75 is a number I am very proud of. If I continue scrolling down, you can see your resources have reached teachers near and far and you can see the states. And I'm not sure, oh, nope, not states. I see Canada, that is a country, but I'm not sure um, what other countries do or do not purchase from TPT, but at least here I can see the states that I am having an impact with the most. Continue scrolling down. The subject your buyers were most interested in was holidays and seasonal. Not surprised, you guys have heard me say that most of my store is comprised of seasonal holiday decor. We are working on that. We have a big, big product line coming up. If I didn't mention that in the video, we've got a big evergreen product line coming up that I am hoping will help you know, continue bringing in income and sales when we are not in a specific holiday season. You've got what teachers want. And then it says 348 educators added your resources to their wish lists, which is great because it kind of goes to show you just because a teacher finds your resource and doesn't buy it that day, that does not mean they're planning ahead. I'm sorry, that doesn't mean they're not planning ahead or strategizing for a unit or something like that. So whenever I see low conversion rates, I am not always deterred because these numbers show me, hey, um, Teachers may not have bought today, but they may buy tomorrow. And then of course, they show you some reviews that you've received throughout the year, which is so awesome. This is so great. TPT did a great job with this. Thank you for being a teacher author on TPT. Together, our community supported 7 million teachers and 100 million plus students. That's absolutely incredible. Teacher powered. I think that's the end. We can't wait to see what you do in 2024. You guys go and check out your yearbook, your TPT 2023 kind of wrapped email that you got. Again, it came out on January 11th, 2024. Of course the battery died. Why would the battery stay alive when I have five minutes to finish and get to school? But you guys, that is it for my TPT income and shop performance report for the year 2023. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Give this video a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.